Hello my dear friends of electronics. Today I want to show you how to measure impedance with DC BIOS load. For that purpose we have here some uh, Agilent analyzer, it's a special uh, network analyzer with a fixture, a special fixture for DC BIOS load and we have from Agilent as well um, power supply or laboratory power supply or precise uh, output and we will give some DC BIOS load we will measure the impedance with and without the load. First of all, it has to be calibrated. I did done that before, so we don't need to make the calibration. Now we can start to make some measurements. So now we have a zero DC bias load current, so no current at all in a 50 ohm calibrator system. And I will start now to apply, push this data memory to put all this trace in the memory. Then display data and memory. Okay. And now I will start to apply a DC BIOS load. Start with first step, almost 200 milliamp. So like you can see at 200 milliamp already we have a collapsing of these impedances so it start to be weaker. If I increase now the current and increase to 400 milliamp, impedance drops, 500 milliamp, impedance drop again. You can see still the zero DC bias load curve. Now I will put to almost 1 amp. At almost 1 amp, we have now the problem that already the saturation of the small ferrite bit is quite very high. But we still can increase 1.2 amp, 1.5, 1.6. And always the impedance increasing, it means a collapsing of the impedance. So it means the ferrite bit have a pre-saturation. Now the maximum current load of this fixture is something like 5 amp. I have double check also 5 amp for the ferrite bead, so this is a special ferrite bead for uh, high power. Now I will go higher, 2 amp, almost 3 amp, and we have a very, very high saturation point. Now I disconnect the DC BIOS load, and the impedance is turned back to the zero DC BIOS load without any change, no destruction, but you have to take in consideration that the um, according to the applying the DC bias load, you will have a collapsing and you will have a decrease of the impedances. So, I hope you enjoy it. Please watch my next videos. Bye-bye.